Welcome back to a series about stories for macOS and iOS. In this video, I'm going to talk about the dark interface on the macOS version. You have something similar on the iOS version, and we're going to cover iOS in a later video. Uh, but this is another piece of eye candy if you're one of those people who keeps writing into the uh, wee hours of the day and it gets dark outside and it's very dimmed on the inside, then a white piece of paper with black text and very light interface elements that can be very hard on the eye. So I prefer something that uh, if it gets darker outside or in my environment gets darker that uh, the colors kind of invert, that I have dark or very dark, almost black interface elements and a lighter text that I can write with. And Stories supports you with that. And there is something that you can do. Let me show you how that works. It's under Storyist Preferences. And here you have under the appearance tab, you have uh, several options. You can choose the, you can change the fonts and the colors that the uh, whole application has. You can change the icons. You can even change the, um, the paper that you're writing on. So if you're thinking if you want to write on, instead of a white piece of paper, you want to have a pattern applied, then look, if you can, I don't know if, you, if YouTube will pick it up, but now you can see a bit of an embossed kind of paper look. So if you, if you really want to town on this whole, I want the typewriter experience, and this is for you. You can change the background of the paper. There's also several other things that you can have here. You can type on fabric if you like. You can type on corkboard if you like, and and so on and so forth. But I'm gonna perhaps I'm gonna leave this on paper. I'm just gonna switch back to the color here. Oh, just a white, you know, no chrome. I guess they they call it chrome and sort of you know programmer speak or something. Um, but there is a way under the interface tab that uh, lets you change all the well most of the interface elements i'm saying most of them because it doesn't apply to all of them but uh, we're going to take care of that manually so there's this tick box here use dark user interface elements and if you tick that then you'll see that most of it kind of inverts i'm saying most of it because your writing piece of paper and your text hasn't changed and i don't know if that's deliberate i suppose it is because it could be customized and and to really have the uh, the full experience that everything is changing color we need to do a little bit more work to do that we're going to have to go back into stories preferences and it's a little bit of a hack that we have to employ there so head over to colors and in it we have two options here on one hand we have the paper color and we have the paper in full screen mode now the thing is i can change either of them to a different background color but i can only change the text of the full screen mode version i don't know why maybe it's something that you know perhaps will be changed in another version right now i, only, I can only change the text color when it's in full screen and that's currently set to black so let me change that to something else perhaps uh, like this this um, snow here which is more or less white so let's do that and uh, let's leave the paper as it is uh, right now that's basically this paper color and the paper in full screen let's change that to something like you know perhaps um, tungsten again there we go let's do tungsten and as soon as we do that and we close this we don't actually get to see any difference but as soon as we enter into full screen mode then we see that this has definitely changed so um right now this is still not anything i can i can read i don't really know why that's happened let's go back and uh, see what's wrong there so the text color oh yeah sorry the text color was meant to be changed to that there sorry my mistake <laughs> so text color to white paper in full screen mode to something dark either black or something like a darker gray and uh, then you're golden then in full screen mode you're going to have a completely dark interface and then as soon as you get out of full screen mode then you go back to this so there's no way that i know of that changes the the text color in the document like this but there is in full screen mode so that's very exciting now one last tip i'm going to leave you with to uh, bring this dark chapter 
dark interface chapter to an end is that uh, if you're not in full screen mode you can still see the menu bar the mac menu bar in light gray and that's not something that's going to change until i believe the next version which is uh, mac os mojave 10.15 and that's currently in beta at the time of recording this video but at some point you will be able to have something like a darker interface here in the meantime and on for, and this is good for older mac hardware as well uh, you can get a plugin or like a little program that runs on your mac called flux or flux and you can get it i think the website is get flux or get flux.com i'll put a link uh, in here and uh, that will allow you to use the system that they have in uh, sierra and high sierra which is the night shift feature and all the computers this this feature on mac os relies on the metal framework and some computers don't have it. It has to do with the graphics card in your Mac and some computers don't have it. And Flux will enable that no matter what graphics card you have. So that's very exciting news. And it also then applies a dark menu bar at certain hours of the day. So you can configure it, you can customize it. And um, the, the, the one thing that Flux is really good at, which is what Night Shift is good at for as well, it reduces the amount of blue light that your monitor emits. So the idea behind it is that this white is kind of tweaked to the kind of higher color temperature to match outside light. But if you're working indoors, then that usually looks a little bit too blue. And the, the later the day gets, the more blue light hits your face, that's really not good for you. And uh, if you're writing in the dark, having blue light inducing into your eyes means you you get less sleepy or more yellow light and uses more serotonin as far as i know so it would works for me it's just the contrast is just a little bit taken away and um, you know so get flux is another nice addition to the arsenal other than that if you're happy with the full screen mode you can do that and then you have a completely switched interface now one final tip i'd like to leave you with once you've done this and once you're happy with that interface, you can't even do it in, in full screen, that's totally cool. Go back into preferences because it's not just the tick box, it is the tick box as well as the colors of the paper and the text here. Uh, you basically have now changed several interface elements. I mean, like I said before, you can change several other things here and you can group them together by creating another theme in the sidebar here. And that allows you to then switch between multiple themes. So in my case, I'm just gonna click the plus button and now it says default theme one and I'm just gonna rename that into something called uh, perhaps Night Owl there and uh, this now has this um this should be you know should be in there so there we go that's that and it also has the the colors as i wanted them no it hasn't actually done that why hasn't it done that crazy so i guess i have to apply that again so the color no actually it has hasn't it oh my god what am i doing what am i doing i'm live on youtube here it's terrible so the paper is dark the text is white and the interface is ticked dark and when i switch back over to the default theme then that should all go away again so technically that should do that i, I don't know why it doesn't do that uh, you know it's probably the demonstration effect and the text is white in the default theme why is that the case the color on the default theme should be like that and that should be like that shouldn't it there or even better i can go and uh i can go select the theme here get rid of the colors and um, revert the selected setting to default or the theme to default there we go so now i've got this and i've got that and now that changes don't know why it didn't take the first time sorry one of those things shouldn't really put those types of videos on youtube anyway so now i have a switchable thing that i can that i can choose what my interface is going to look like and if i'm writing in the daytime again i just switch over back to the default theme and then you know things are good so much for the dark interface in the next video i'm going to show you how to track your writing goals daily writing goals so stay tuned for that